Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday. Here we are again with our 30 minute Pilates. Today, we're doing a mix of standing and mat work, all right, to really energize your life. Okay, so let's get going. So here we go. Let's start with our standing work first. So we're going to start with feet hip width apart. I want you to pull your tummy muscles in. And then from here, we're just going to start with a little knee lift and a tap of the knee. So you're just going to tap like this. That's it. I want those knees nice and high. All right, we're just going to lift that energy up, lift that heart rate a little bit. See if you can do what I'm doing. See my elbows are high as well. All right, so we're getting some work through the arms and the shoulder joints. Two, that's it. Wonderful. Three, two, one. Hold this one here. And now we're going to reach the foot out, take the arm up and then bring it back. We're going to reach and back. So this top arm is really reaching back. So we're stretching through the shoulder and the chest. Reach and back. Reach and back. Reach. And that one more, reach and back. Now let's continue our taps. That's it, good. Keep going nice and high. I want you to think about really lifting up through that spine so you can feel yourself lengthening through the crown of the head. Well done, good. And we're gonna count it down. Here we go, three, two, one hold. So we've got the opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach and bring it back. Reach and bring it back. So reach, stretching here. Reach as far back as you feel you can. Good. Reach and back. Reach and back. Reach and back. One more. Reach. And back. Let's bring those feet out nice and wide now. Haven't done this one for a while, actually. We're going to bend and press down. Then press down. So you're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So this is really good for your hip mobility. All right, as well as you're stretching your inner thigh muscles. Good. And down for four, three, two, one. Well done. I want you to turn this leg in, bring this arm across and back. So we're rotating arm and back, across and back. And if you want, you can add a little pulse to it just to deepen that work in the muscles a little more. And back, and back, two, one, let's change sides, that's it, so working through your hip mobility, well done, and back, and four, three, two, one, well done. Now let's turn that to this side, straighten this front foot up. So we're now facing that side. All right, and again, think of tummy muscles in, just a slight lean forward so we're not compressing the lower back. And then we're gonna dip down, take the arms up, and then I want you to push back. So you're gonna dip down, push back, dip down. So imagine you're pushing through treacle, Really trying to feel that bit of resistance in your arms. Down and back. Down and back. Good. Down and back. One more. Down and back. Let's switch to the other side. So turning around. Straighten that foot up. Find your balance. Tummy in slight Tilt forward from the hips, and then we're going to go down and up, down and up. Good. 
for four, three, two, one, come up and around. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to give you a little funky move that I really love to do. I do it to music sometimes, this one. I'll just top my microphone down. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to do a little bend with the feet out and then with the feet in. So you're going to go out and in, out and in. Again, we're working on hip mobility, out and in for four, three, two, one. Well done. Now just wiggle those feet back in so they're underneath your hips. Bring that right arm up. Ah, lovely stretch over to the side, stretching through that upper body. Lift and lower down. Other way up. Ah, and stretching over. Lift and up and over. Lift and down. Up and over. Lift and down. Keep going. Really trying to increase that stretch. See if you can go a little bit lower. And down two more. Up and over. And down and up and over. Lift and down. Okay. So we're going to do a little movement uh, to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to take the leg, you're going to take it up behind you like this with the knee bend, and you're going to flick it out and bring it down. So it's up, flick, and down. So this is working through all the joints of the leg. It's also working your core stability. Okay, so going hip, knee, ankle, hip, knee, ankle. Yeah, and you're having to balance on this leg. Now you're going to try and do it with the arms up. Three, two, one. Let's take it to the other side. So you can start with the hands down, get your balance. That's it. So really lift and flick, lift and flick, lift and flick. Good. Arms up for four, three, two, one. Well done. Turning back, we're going to have one leg forward, one leg back. This time we're going to do our dip down and push up. We're going to do eight and I'm going to add something on for three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, stay down, stay down. Now release that back foot and see if you can just reach back, reach back, reach back. Get that lovely stretch through the body. Circle the arms, come down. And now I want you to take that front leg, wiggle it across, let the knee drop out to the side and come into a nice stretch here. Keep your body upright. That's it. Just stretching out through the hip, through the glutes. Tongue is in. Good. Three, two, one. Tuck the back foot under, coming up into your plank position. All right, now you can do this on your elbows if this is too much on your wrists. Otherwise, you're going to stay here and we're just going to inhale, lower the, heel, uh, lower the knees, exhale, lift them up. So lower and lift, lower and lift. So you want to be nice and stable in that upper body. No arching of the back. Good. Four, three, two, one. Well done, bring that same leg forward that was forward before, take the knee down, release the foot, come on up. And let's have another little stretch here. Circle the arms out to the side, 
Bring them on the inside of that foot now, okay? And now what we're gonna do is tuck the toes under of that back leg, lift up, and we're gonna see if we can rotate around so we're in a little stretch here. All right, so we're feeling that stretch through here. Again, just have your fingertips on the ground. Try and lift your body up a little so we're working our tummy muscles here. That's it. Now see if you can swivel around all the way around the other way. Bring the knee down. That's it. Tuck the toes under. Well done. Now I want you to push into this front foot, push down and bring your body up all the way up to standing. All right, so here we go on the other side. Eight, whoops, seven, six, five, four. Take those arms all the way back, three, Two, one, stay down, release that foot and think of lifting the rib cage up but coming back into a lovely stretch. Circle the arms, coming down, wiggle that front foot across so it's in front of the opposite hip, take the knee out to the side, take the pelvis forward, Find that stretch where you need it. Let's try and keep that body upright. Well done, tuck the toes under. Press into your hands and take that leg back. All right, now think of pushing the mat away with your hands or your elbows. Pull your tummy muscles in and let's just dip the knees down and up. Down and up, down and up, and up for four, three, two, one. Stay there, bring that front foot forward. Pull the tummy muscles in. All right, lifting up into that stretch once again. So think of lifting the ribs, reaching back, big stretch. Good. Holding it here. Well done. Circle the arms out to the side. That's it. Coming back, having a little stretch here through that hamstring. That's it. Come forward, tuck the toes under, and let's come around to the front now. Okay, so we're getting that stretch through here. Lifting up if you can. You want to be as upright as possible rather than rounding forward. All right. That's it. Three, two, one. Then you're going to turn all the way around, facing that leg. Bring that knee down. All right. And all we're going to do is just come up from here. So tuck the toes under. All right. Pull your tummy muscles in and push on up all the way up good and turn to me well done all right we're halfway through so we're going to go into our mat work now all right so what you're going to do is stand at the front of your mat this is going to be just a little fun move for all of us me included have your feet a little bit wider than normal okay and then you're going to cross your arms and you're going to sink down all right, you're going to go as far as your knees will let you. At some point, your heels are going to have to come up. All right, so you're down in your crouch position. Now try and drop those feet. Hands down, bring yourself all the way down. Well done. Straight into your pelvic curl. So knees bent, feet hip width apart, arms pressing down. Let's pull the tummy muscles in and peel the spine up off the floor. Deep breath in there. Breathing out slowly, coming down through the spine and back. So inhale, exhale, peeling up. Inhale and exhale, coming back down. So try and really isolate each part of your body. 
through this movement. This is one of the best movements for just getting the whole of the spine articulating. All right. Exhale, tip back and roll up. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back down. We'll do two more. Deep breath in. Exhale to tilt. And roll the spine up. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly coming down. And last one. Deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt. And up. Inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way down. Well done. From there, I want you to come up and be on your elbows. All right, so we are on our elbows like so. You're going to feel this stretch in your shoulders. And what I want you to do is try and look straight ahead and focus on not letting your back do this. You don't want your back to be rounding. So you want to try and get your pelvis into neutral again. So that's those three points, pubic bone and hip bones level. Okay, you're pressing into the hands. You're trying to widen the space between your collarbones. And then we're going to lift one leg up and tap it down. So you can hold this position with the upper body to work the core while we work through the leg and the hip. That's it. Three, two, one. Bring the other leg up. Take the right leg down. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the right leg up, keep the legs in the air. Now dip right leg down for eight, seven, six, five. Keep opening that chest, four, three, two, one. Other side for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now reach right leg out, but don't touch the floor and bring it back. Left leg out and back. Keep lifting. You should be really feeling this in your upper body now, particularly in your core around the center. Good. For four, three, two, one. Hold it here, knees together. Now take both knees over to the right hand side. Exhale, bring them back to center. Over to your left and back to center. Really press into those elbows. Over and back to center. Over and back to center. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Take those feet down, press on up. Let's just hold it here and just think of pressing the hands down, lifting the chest, lifting the eye line, stretching through the front of the body. Well done, extend the legs out. Bring your arms in front. So we're preparing for the roll up. So you're going to take a breath in. Exhale, pull the abdominals in. We're going to come down, but not all the way. So you're going to go until you feel your pelvis touch the mat. Then you're going to hold it. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull the abdominals in. Come up, reach over for a stretch. And then restack the spine. So deep breath in. Exhale, come back, touch, inhale, exhale, pull in and over. And the reason I'm giving you this version today is because you can't use your arms for momentum. You've got to use your core, inhale, exhale, come up and over. 
Lots of work on the lower abdominals today. Deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale over. Deep breath in. Exhale. Down. Inhale. Exhale up and over. And one more deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Up and over. Restack that spine. Take those hands behind you. Okay, fingertips pointing out. Those of you who are have got that flexibility in your wrists, you can have the fingers pointing towards your body. Let's keep those legs straight, tummy muscles in, press into the hands and the feet, pull the tummy in and lift up. So this is really the glutes. So think of squeezing your bottom as you lift up and then lower back down. So stretching the whole front of the body, lifting up, working all the muscles on the back of the body and lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Last two. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Well done. Okay, so just come forward on your mat a little. And I want you to bring your right knee in towards you. Okay, and lift it off the floor. We want to be as lifted and as upright as possible. We're going to do a little sequence here. So you're going to do three pulses of the knee. So bring it into your chest for one, two, three. Then hands underneath the leg, wherever you can reach, you're going to extend that leg as straight as you can. So you get that lovely stretch. Now draw the tummy in, think of a roll up, tuck under. And as you tuck under, we're going to move back and we're going to slowly bring our hands up towards our hip. Okay, and as you're doing this, you're pulling this leg towards you. Now reach your arms overhead, circle them around, bring them back to the top of the thigh, lift your head and start to walk your hands up that leg until you're back up to sitting. Then you're going to bend your knee. So let's try that again. So we're going to go one, two, three, inhale, lift. Tucking under, using your core, coming back, reach the arms overhead, circle, lift the head and walk yourself back up, bending the knee. And one, two, three, extend, tucking under, walking back, arms overhead, circle, lift the head, use those abdominals to come up, Hold it here with that leg as straight as you can. And you're going to exhale, pull it towards you. Inhale, release. Exhale towards you. Inhale, release. Exhale towards you. Pull your tummy muscles in. Think of tightening your thigh on that leg and see if you can lift your arms away, leaving the leg where it is for three, two, one. Lower the leg down, circle the arms. Let's go on to the other side. So three pulses, one, two, three, and extend. Think of the hands moving up the leg as you go down with the body, arms overhead, circle them around, lift your head, and exhale, coming up, climbing back up that leg, bending the knee. We're going to go three, two, one, extend the leg, find the stretch, lift up through that back. Now tuck under, rounding your lower back, using your core to come down. Arms overhead, circle around. And lift yourself back up, bending the knee, last one, four, one, two, three. Extend, tucking under, coming back. Arms overhead. Circling around, lifting up, holding that leg there. And then we're going to exhale. <sighs> 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 
hold it there. Now think of tightening your thigh muscle on that leg that's in the air. Pull your tummy muscles in. Really pull that belly in as much as you can. And then we're going to try and take the arms away, lifting up for three, two, one. Well done. Coming down onto your side. Okay, so we're going to stay lying down today. And what we're going to do is we're going to flex the foot and we're going to bring the foot forward. So side kick, forward, point the toe and reach it back. So you want to bring that bottom leg slightly forward for balance. So we're going to go forward, pointing back, flexing forward, pointing back. And we're trying to keep as still as we can in the pelvis, forward and back, forward and back. Last one, forward and back. Now bend the bottom leg, this front leg, Bend the top leg, reach around if you can, take hold of the foot. And then you're going to take a breath in. As you exhale, send that knee back. Try not to have the knee high. You want it in line with the hip. Reach it back until you feel the stretch in the front of that hip. So we're working the thigh that we've just been, or we're stretching the thigh. We've just been working. Three, two, one. Well done, come on up. Let's go straight on to the other side. So lying down, nice straight line, stable through the hips, bottom foot slightly forward, top leg in line with the hip, hand in front, flex the foot, take it forward, point the toe, reach it back. Flex it forward and take it back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward. And back. Good. And two. And one. Hold it there. Bend the bottom leg. Top leg also bends. Reach around. Take hold of that foot. Bring the knee in line. And then think of pressing that foot away so you're really feeling that stretch. Holding it here. Well done, extending both those legs, rolling onto your front now. Let's have the feet slightly apart. Let's have the elbows bent and try to align your elbows with your shoulders and then your hands, your wrists, your hands with your elbows. So you've got those right angles there. Pull your tummy muscles in, send your pelvis forward. And then I want you to just have your head just floating off the floor but tuck your chin so your eye line down. And then we're just gonna try and lift our elbows up and take them down. And as you lift them, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades and come down. So we've got a lift, a squeeze. And as you squeeze, elbows come down a little and then they go back. Lift and squeeze and back. Lift and squeeze and back. Lift and squeeze. And that, squeeze. And that last one, squeeze. And back. Now I want you to lift those elbows up and now lift the chest as well. As high as you can, pull your tummy muscles in. Now think of sending your hands forward, big reach forward, and then a big circle all the way around to the back. Take hold of one of your hands, so your hands are linked. And then think of lifting a little further, stretching up, really stretching the front of the chest. And then come all the way down, bring your hands back. So we're going to do two more times like that. So we're going to lift, a little squeeze, pull your tummy muscles in, reach your hands forward, trying to keep your back in the air. Circle all the way around behind you. Interlace your fingers or just take hold of your hand and reach a little more. Try and lift that chest a little more. Don't overwork your neck though. Keep your eye line down. That's it. Release and come down. I know these ones are hard. Let's do one more. So we're going to lift those elbows up, lift the back. Squeeze the shoulders to start with. So think of shoulder blades touching at the bottom. 
Okay, now release the shoulder blades, send the arms forward, straighten those arms, reach all the way around behind you. Take hold of your hand and then stretch a little more. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Well done. Coming down, hands under your shoulders. Push yourself up to a kneeling position. Let's do a little cat stretch. So take a breath in. Exhale. Pull the tummy muscles in. Tuck the tailbone under. And just find that lovely deep stretch. Try pushing the floor away. See if you can get an even deeper stretch there. That's it. And then from there, I want you to tuck the toes under. A little bit of ankle mobility. And then you're going to push back so that you are on your feet with your heels down, your head down, looking down there. Good. And then from there, I want you to try and lift your back up. In case it's all about mobility here. Bring your hands back to how they were at the beginning. All right, now try and push up, push up to standing. Well done, lift the arms up. Take a deep breath in, bring the arms down, exhale. We're gonna roll down, just finishing up now. Inhale there, exhale coming up. Deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, rolling down. Inhale. Exhale up. And last one, deep breath in. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale. And exhale to come all the way up. Well done. And thank you very much for working out with me this morning. It was lovely to have you here. Do go ahead and press that like button. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And do come and see me again soon. If anyone wants to ask me any questions, I stay on the live chat for the next five, 10 minutes for any questions and just shout outs for people. And if you need to go, then have a great day. All right, thanks very much, everyone. See you soon. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that today. Oh, that was quite a workout. Hopefully you are feeling as energized as I am. I'm just going to uh, make it a little bit brighter because I can see that it's um, gone a little bit dark, hasn't it, in here? It's gone a little bit dark, so hopefully you can see me well. Okay, so if you have any questions at all, uh, now's the time. I'm going to do a quick shout out to everyone who has donated today. So I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Yvonne Thorpe. Thank you very much, uh, Yvonne. Uh, also, a thank you to Ruth Enright. Thank you very much, Ruth. Carlin Holtgren. Thank you, Carlin. Lovely to have you here. Uh, thank you to Carol Neath. Many thanks, Carol. Thank you to Robin Newcomb. Hi, Robin. Uh, lots of lovely friends in today. Hello to Corina Seagull. Thank you very much indeed. Well, it's lovely to have you. I want to just uh, get a little bit of feedback if I can today. I'd love to know what you thought of today's session in terms of the level, because I'm trying to get a level that kind of works for everyone that's here on a Friday. Last week, I did a strong class. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people said that it was too difficult. So it's trying to find the mix, really. Also to remind you that I'm going to be here on Monday uh, live at 4.30. And on Monday, I'm doing a workout which is geared towards women 50 plus. OK, and I just want to really emphasize this because I'm a 50 plus woman. It is not a seniors workout. It's for women in their 50s. I don't class women in their 50s. Uh, as a senior. I don't class myself as a senior. Okay, so it's going to be specific to women in their 50s, which is a very, very important time in a woman's life uh, for fitness. Lots of things are happening in the body, and we have to really be mindful of what we need to do, even if we don't like it, to really keep ourselves fit and flexible going into 
our kind of third stage of life, I guess. I mean, they call it the middle age, middle age, don't they, 50? So it's kind of we're in that transitional period. All right. So that's going to be 50 plus. If you're not 50 plus, it doesn't mean you can't do it. You absolutely can do it. But I just wanted to bring attention to specific things for women in their 50s who follow me, uh, because I know there's lots of you out there and there's lots of questions about what's OK to do, what's not. So on Monday, that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm just letting you know, it is going to be quite a strong workout. OK, uh, lovely. Right. So jumping on the chat. Also to remind you, we've got the playlist out, 31 day playlist. Uh, for March, we're now on day 24, I think. What day is it? Yeah, we're day day 24. So we're into the last kind of week of those uh, workouts. And this is the more uh, advanced level work. So if you get to the point where you think, oh, no, I just can't do this. This is too much. Then please go back a week and work on those. Or go back to the point where you were in doing workouts that felt uh, challenging but achievable. All right. Never give up. That's my thing. You know that. OK, so jumping onto the chat. Uh, right. So going into uh, feedback for today. So Summer. Hello, Summer Flieder. Summer says, yes, absolutely. I feel energized. Thank you so much. Really glad to hear it. Uh, Hayley Jupp. Hi, Hayley. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Hayley says, hi, Rachel. Great class. Very tough. Uh, Kofi sent. Thank you, Hayley, for the Kofi. Much appreciated. Uh, Corina Perry says, wow, hot and sweaty, but I managed it all except the straight leg lowering in the middle. Felt it in my back. Right, Karina. Well, that's good. You kind of know where you're at. Um, and yeah, the straight leg lowering is definitely a really big challenge on the kind of the core stability. Uh, so, yes, Karina, go back and do it again, maybe modify a little and keep working on those exercises where you feel a challenge so you can really kind of understand uh, where you need to be to do it. It may be that you need to lower your leg a little more. It may be that you need to tuck in and under a little more to emphasize the control and using these muscles here. Uh, Josie Briggs. Hi, Josie. Thank you very much for your donation this morning. Lovely to have you here. Leslie Martin says, just joined uh, as back from in-person class. Looks like a good session. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Well done, Leslie. Glad to hear you're out doing classes as well. Uh, Seagull says, hello, Rachel. Hello, everyone. Glad I could make it this morning. Just the workout I needed. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Leslie Martin, Leslie, thank you very much for your donation. Really appreciate that. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you that donate every week because you really, really do keep this going. Uh, as you can imagine, Les, it looks, I make it look very easy, but there's so much work involved. I literally spend all day every day now working on the channel, whether that's writing things, programming things, re-editing stuff. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, uh, and if you don't, please do. It's the same handle, the girl with the Pilates mat. I've been doing a post every single day on Instagram, and I've been doing a, a short every single day on YouTube. So you can either see it on YouTube or Instagram. A lot of work at the moment, but I really wanted to kind of help you understand little tips. They're all kind of tips about how to sort of achieve an exercise that might be challenging or why we do a certain exercise, what part of the body works, that sort of thing. So if you can, do go check those out. Uh, Anna McDougall, hello, Anna. Oh, it's lovely to see your name come up. Hello. Hi, Rachel. Managed to catch this class this morning. Wonderful as usual. I found it a little challenging. My knees weren't too keen, but it got my heart rate up. Thank you. Oh, big kiss to you, Anna, as well. Lovely to, to know you're out there in, uh, in London, West London, working out with me. It's lovely to hear from you. Uh, Josie Briggs says, feel great after all that. Um, uh, I know I didn't look dignified during the transitions. It's all good fun. That's the main thing, isn't it, Josie? And, you know, I've kind of, I quite like the transitions. I like getting creative. So trying to get from one exercise 
to another. Uh, today was quite a uh, deep stretch as well as strengthening class. I really wanted to give you kind of 50-50 today. So half strengthening, half stretching. Hopefully we got that mix right. So you just feel a little bit, you know, looser, easier in your body. That was, that was the idea. Um, and I think also, <clears throat> you know, I mean, a lot of you who follow me know this, is that I really want you all to succeed in your exercise and to feel good about your exercise. But, you know, like Josie says, it's about having fun as well. So never get hung up if there's something you can't do. Just think, oh, well, that one's not for me today and move on to the next thing. You know, never get hung up on exercise, how you look. You know, I think a lot of us who are watching this, I think women in general worry about how they look all the time. And I want to take that away from you and just want you to really just enjoy being in your own skin, just being able to move as best as you can and to help you feel better for doing whatever movement you did today. All right. Uh, lovely stuff. So Vicky P. Hi, Vicky P. Says, great for the 50 plus lesson. Yes, Vicky, I'll see you Monday. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Ruth Enright says, I found it a bit higher level than I can do for the hip and leg work moving around in lunge and crouch. They don't move with me. <laughs> uh, the rest was fine for me. Yes, Ruth. So that's just a little note with those hips. Assuming you've not had any uh, surgery in those areas, those are things uh, we'll talk about on Monday as well. We really need to mobilize. Because when we get into our 50s, our hormone levels change and that can really affect uh, stiffness in the joints, mobility in the joints. And so we've got to work a little more at those things, but gently, which is what we always try and do, isn't it, in here? So well done, Ruth. Uh, keep up the good work. Yvonne Woodhouse says, love the class today. Got a bit mixed up turning around when stretching inner thighs. Ended up the wrong way, but I think that's me, not the exercise. <laughs> Happy weekend, everyone. Well, you know what, Yvonne, as long as you stretch both sides, it doesn't matter which way you go. So all good. Uh, and you have a lovely way weekend as well, Yvonne. Uh, Karina Perry says, level-wise, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a fit, I was a fit, flexible 71-year-old and managed this with a few adjustments. Going to repeat it. Can you put a link to foot exercises, please, Kerwin? Okay, I can see you've done that, Kerwin. Thank you very much. Uh, Liesl Panel or Pennell, maybe. Hello, Liesl. Says, hello from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Hello to you, Liesl. Welcome to class. Welcome to the UK. I'm in a very sunny Brighton. You can see the sun is pouring in through the window today. Uh, lovely to have you here, Liesl. And Liesl says, I am dripping with sweat. I love the classes with the props. How about using the yoga block? Very good idea. I might have some yoga blocks. I'll have to find them. Uh, but yes, I'll make a note of that, Liesl. And they're certainly good props to have around when we're doing stretches. For anyone who wants to do a stretch but can't quite reach the floor, yoga blocks are a great prop. So thanks for that mention, Liesl. Uh, and lovely to have you. Y Yvonne Thorpe says, much more manageable workout today. Still had to make a few modifications, but less than last week week. Well, that's telling me everyone from the feedback from today that we all need to work a little bit more on our more traditional Pilates. So today we did some, we did quite a bit of traditional Pilates, but I gave you my Rachel style. So mix it up a little to make it a little bit more manageable. That sounds like it was quite more or less the right level. So that's really good to know. Uh, and a lens is good morning, Rachel, a wonderful exercise. My body keeps loving this. I did exactly what was said. Thank you. Thank you. A blessed weekend. And to you, Anne, I'm really glad that felt good for you. Thank you very much indeed for the feedback. Uh, much appreciated. Um, okay, so going down to Sue Sambles. Hello, Sue. Lovely to have you here today. Sue says, hi, Rachel. Thanks for your creativity and keeping these workouts fresh. I found this suitably challenging, but achievable with a couple of pauses to catch my breath. That's brilliant, Sue. Well done, well done, well done. 
that's perfect. That's kind of, that's really where I kind of want everyone to be, me included, is that it's achievable. You get a bit out of breath and then you go on to the next, you know, you have a little breather, then you go on to the next bit. So that's perfect. Uh, really glad to hear that, Sue. Helen Lees. Hello, Helen. She's back from Tasmania. Hi, Helen. Says, hi, Rachel. That was a tough one, but I managed it. Um, but it made me realize how I need to do more of those deep stretches. Thank you, because I've been neglecting them recently. Will repeat. Thank you, as always, Rachel. Oh, bless you, Helen. Thank you very much indeed. Really glad that helped give you an idea of maybe things that uh, would be good for you to do more of. Uh, I want to say hello to Marie O'Hara Bennett. Hello, Marie. How lovely to have you here. Marie says, just to say hello to you. I'll catch up when I'm better. Got a cold and a fever that's preventing me from getting up. What a lovely class again, Rachel. Thanks a lot. And thank you for your encouragement. You're very welcome, Marie. I hope you feel better soon. Please Rest as much as you need to. Remember your exercise. You can take a couple of weeks off exercise. Nothing major is going to change in that time. If you feel you need to rest, and I'm going to tell you this, let you into something, everyone. Uh, this week, uh, I've been resting because I was just feeling very run down and rather tired. And I think it's just I've been doing a lot lately. And so I decided, right, this week I'm going to listen to my body. So I have pretty much rested uh, from Tuesday to today. And I have to say it makes a massive difference when you listen to your body and you give it what it needs. Um, all right. So yes, if you need to rest, you feel a little bit under the weather, please do rest because rest and sleep are what kind of uh, rebuild us. Yes, restore us. And it's very important to be able to do that. Um, okay. So thank you for that, Maria. Uh, or Marie, sorry, I can't see on my computer. Marie, it's lovely to have you here. Carol Nee says, love today's session and feeling energized. Some challenging moves, but I always like to feel I push myself. Kisses to you too. Thank you, Carol. Really good to hear that. Keep up the good work. Caroline Ford says, I did struggle today, which was a bit depressing. Balance not brilliant, but I must work at that more. Keep forgetting I'm 74, but you do have so many classes to choose from. Thanks as always. Thank you, Caroline. And don't get depressed, Caroline. There's nothing wrong. You haven't done anything wrong. There is nothing wrong with you or whatsoever. Our balance changes every day. Mine as well. I'm sure you all notice that I have problems balancing on one foot. So my right foot is always harder to balance on because I had foot surgery and I've always had problems with that foot. And I just accept that that's, that's just one of those things I have to work on. But Caroline, don't get worried about it, okay? You're doing great. You're here all the time. I know you're here on a regular basis. That's the bit you should be thinking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the bit you should feel good about is that you come and you do it every week. Yeah, that's a massive achievement. And that goes for all of you that come here every week. It's a huge achievement to just turn up. Yeah, just to be here with me, present and doing your best. That is what you should be really proud of. Not the one thing that you couldn't do or the one thing that was a bit challenging or was a bit tough. That's fine. We're all different. We all have our challenges. But please be proud and feel good about the fact you turned up today. That's that's massive. That's really, really good. Uh, OK, Caroline, thank you for your donation as well, because I know you always support me. So I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Tiona. Hello, Tiona. Sending you loads of loads of love. I know the message you sent me last week. And uh, I have been thinking about you a lot. All right. I'm hoping that you're OK. Uh, Tiona says, great workout, Rachel. Thank you. Found it difficult this morning. Quite normal as my energy level is low. We'll carry on my pathway. Bless you. I know, Tiona, um, I know it's really, really hard right now. For anyone who's watching, Tiona lost her father last week. And you all know that I lost my father three months ago. It's horrible. That's just, you know, I'm already welling up again. 
Um, but I know how you feel, Tiona, and you've just got to hang in there and just let the grief take its path, you know, and it comes at, it comes in all different times, doesn't it? You know, I found it really strange at thinking I'm coping really well and then suddenly I'm overwhelmed with, you know, thinking about him. It's just a really, really strange time. But, Tiona, I just want to say, sending you all the love in the world and I'm really glad you came today and just keep coming to class. Keep coming even if you just sit and watch or you do five minutes because that moment where you are in your body and you're moving will really help with that whole process of recovery from such a traumatic event, okay? So sending you loads of love and thank you for being here today. Um, Marie O'Hara says, how lovely, thank you. You're very welcome. Take care to you, Marie. Terry says, I find the knee bending quite hard, difficult to get low. Any tips? So yes, Terry, uh, knee bending. I'm assuming you mean uh, these ones, uh, these ones coming down. So with those, my recommendation is always just go to where you feel is okay. You don't have to get right down to the floor. I mean, I do these all the time and I challenge myself. <clears throat> but if I'm feeling a bit unsteady or, or not feeling great, I'll, I'll just modify and make it smaller. The main thing is we want a little bit of movement in those knees to uh, work on knee mobility and get all those muscles that support your knee joint working. And that's why we do that um, exercise. So I hope that um, helps you, Terry. Just modify to where it feels right for you. And then you're still doing it. You're still getting mobility there. Um, okay, Caroline Ford says, I guess I've already done two live classes at the club this week. Oh, well, there you go. You see, you've already done a lot this week. Uh, Corina Perry says, please do rest, Rachel. You have been doing so much for us. Oh, thank you, Corina. I'm going to have a very quiet weekend. That's the plan. Uh, Sally Prendergast says, thanks, Rachel. I love your classes and the amazing variety you come up with. I don't often make it to the live sessions, but I had fun doing that one to the best of my ability. That's amazing. Thank you, Sally. Well done. And uh, Terry says, Tiona, we all send our sympathies to you. It is hard and you will get there. Well, that's lovely. Thank you, Terry, for that. That's very sweet and very thoughtful. Um, Catherine Blastera, hello Catherine, says don't usually make it to a live class due to time difference, was able to do everything but found my neck bothered me when doing the leg lifts on the elbows. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, it might be, uh, Catherine, that when you've got that position, so uh, let me see, we had our elbows behind us on the mat, didn't we? So I'm gonna do it facing you just so you can see. And what can happen is if people are prone to tension, they might have their shoulders here. This is something I'm sort of prone to, particularly on, my, uh, uh, on one side of my body. And so the tip would be press down into the elbows and you can see how the shoulders come down. And then think about trying to widen the gap here between the collarbones. Lots of people describe it as like smiling between the collarbones. So you're trying to open the front of the body, close the back of the body. And that should take it, <clears throat> excuse me, out of these muscles, your upper trapezius muscles. It should take the tension out of here. All right. The other thing, maybe just the position of your head, you might want to look at. You could try just playing around with where your chin is as well when you're in that position. Um, because you're kind of like this, aren't you? So if your shoulders are up, uh, this is really going to aggravate your neck. If you press your shoulders down, pull them back and open your chest out for a stretch, you'll find it comes away from that immediate area. So I'd have a try of that, um, Catherine, and see, see how that works for you. Uh, <clears throat> and then Catherine says, thank you so much for all of the wonderful classes. I'll try and do an hour a day. Well done, Catherine. And Helen Lee says, Tiona, sending sincere condolences. It's not an easy time, so do take care. Thank you, Helen. That's so kind of you. And Catherine says, thanks so much for the advice. I'll work on that. Wonderful stuff. All right, my lovely friends, it's time for me to go. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much 
for all your support. Whether you are new to the channel or you've been with me for since the beginning, I do appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you very, very much indeed. I'll be back on Monday at 4.30 with a special workout, which is aimed at women in their 50s. Okay, and the things that we need to think about in our 50s. I had the playlist going. So do dip into that place if you haven't had a look already. Maybe just go to the beginning and try some of the uh, beginner's workouts to keep yourself moving. All right. And don't forget, if you haven't already, my last little plug for my book, if you're in the UK, it's now out. Uh, I put a post on YouTube yesterday because I went into Waterstones, which is a huge bookshop in the UK, in the center of the London, and I found it on the shelf, so I was very chuffed. Uh, but my little book of Pilates is out in the UK. It will be out worldwide from May 2nd, and we'll do a special workout on May 2nd for the book as well. All right, everyone, so just suffice to say, I want you to have a lovely weekend. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye for now.